Congrats and a big thank you for the voice in the band. It's a seminal piece of work of LGBT art and it's now getting a global audience. So I love it. Thank you. Oh, now this question is for all of you and let's begin with you, Mr. Jim. Michael, the host who spends and drinks too much and perhaps a reluctant Catholic, what does the boys in the band mean to you? Oh, it means, it means that um, for all of us at different, in different ways, life is a journey of learning to love and accept and be exactly who you are. And only by doing so can you love and accept others for who they are and, and allow into your life. Oh, what about you, Mr. Brian? Um, the straight guess, <laughs> the meaning of the boys in the band. I think the meaning that I take away from watching this film um, and working on it with these guys is all the characters are searching for love and connection and communication and to be seen and to be heard and acknowledged. You know, we spend so much time and so many generations just fighting for that to be um, seen and to have the dignity and respect that we should be owed as human beings. And we see all of these guys in their own way, looking for that, searching for that in the film. And what about you, Mr. Michael, the librarian who allows Emery with his Uncle Tom Diggs? <laughs> what does the boys in the band mean to you? Um, I think that this was the first and only 52 years ago, and we've had 52 years of characters and plays and movies and politicians, leaders and uh, community activists who have now stepped into those spaces that we reserve for characters on movies to fulfill. And so I'm excited to see what now is going into the world, if it's entertainment, if it helps people who are in countries where they're still stuck in 1968. It's a healing bomb, hopefully, for people to see what friendship looks like, even through the toughest times. Oh, that's right. No, many people love its place in LGBTQ history, although some criticize the material for its self-loathing characters. My take is that you have to see the film through the prism of when it was made, right? I mean, these characters are smack dab between the conservative 50s, the Vietnam War, the sexual revolution, hate before pride. Am, am I right in assuming that? I, yes. Yes. What about you, Mr. Brian? What do you think? I mean, uh... I think that's absolutely true. I mean, I, I think that it, the movie was dismissed in many ways for being about self-loathing characters and bitter characters and alcoholics. And I think at the time it was much more a response to gay men and women maybe not wanting to be seen that way. You know, you wanna keep a distance from that. And Stonewall happened right as the movie was being released and was boycotted even by um, gay people who thought that um, they didn't wanna live this kind of life anymore. They wanted to be out in the streets and seen and, um, and uh, celebrated. And so, you know, now we can look at it with um, fresh eyes and through the prism of uh, our, our current um, uh, situation 50 years later and understand that this, this is part of our history and this is how men had to live. And the self-loathing comes from a place of um, society not respecting who these guys were. That's right. Now, this question also goes to all of you. What do you hope for viewers to get after watching The Boys in the Band? Let's begin with you, Mr. Michael. I want people to know that there is now a new um, access to gay characters. There's also a new, you can have a new fresh opinion about Boys in the Band. When it was the first and only, that was all there was. But now we have so many other examples that I'm really hoping that people find a new truth in, in the story. Oh, what about you, Mr. Jim? Yeah, I agree with that too. I just, um, I hope people see how how far we've come and I hope people see how much you have to keep paying attention and learn from the past in order to keep progressing. And more than anything, perhaps, I hope people see that the human relationships that are part of this story transcend gay, uh, even though that's what it's about. It's just about being a human being and 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 finding love. Oh, that's right. Thank you so much, you guys. I mean, yes, I mean, somebody like me can now be on TV, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Good luck and congrats again. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Bye -bye.